Hello and welcome to another Monkeys Motors Monday Morning Vlog. So the next few weeks they're going to be a bit different. So right now it is Sunday the 24th um, of July. I'm currently unemployed. Well, in between jobs. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try record a batch of these Monday Morning Vlogs so I don't miss out on anything. So this is obviously, if you're seeing this, going live on July the um, 25th. And then also this week I'm going to record one for Monday, August 1st because that's obviously, that's my first day at my new job. And then I've got to record another one this week which will be scheduled to go live on August the 8th because that is technically when my broadband at my new house goes live. That's when it's activated but you never know, these things might not really go as planned. So I'm going to have it all set up the next three weeks, all scheduled. So hopefully with a, without any major catastrophes there will be no gaps in the content. That's the plan anyway, let's see how it goes. And then by whatever, what would that be, the 15th? Hopefully I'll just record a video on the 14th Sunday and then that will be the Monday morning vlog. But yeah, in the next few weeks it's going to be the most stressful, busiest fucking nightmare my life it's just horrendous starting a new job and moving house fuck um a bit exciting and it's good it's good so uh what the plan is for this video i'm actually going to ride across to what's known as singleton it's like part of ashford i still don't really know ashford despite having lived here for a couple of years but that's where my new house is so i thought i'd give you a little tour of the estate so you know where i'm going to be living um get to know the local area because I guess these will be the roads that will be the starts of the Monday morning vlogs once we get there from now on but yeah no moving house it's a fucking nightmare so we're currently packing packing it all up going around room by room shoving everything in boxes bearing in mind we don't actually move for two weeks so we can't pack everything we've still got to survive but obviously next week um, you know I'm talking week beginning first I'm at work so despite the fact we don't move until the 6th obviously I'm not going to be around to help with the packing um, I've had a few a few more details trickle in about my new job the first few days it's quite nice they're putting me up I'm just, this, is, this is just bragging now they're putting me up in a um what's this car doing hello Aldi I like you they're putting me up in a five-star country hotel uh, for my first few days which is pretty really fucking nice um, I don't know if that's just because my boss is also staying in the hotel because she's originally based in Ireland so um, it might just be because she's there that I'm getting the five star treatment, you never know we'll have to wait and see and uh, I still don't know what car I'm getting hopefully we'll find that out on Monday so um, that's exciting so you might recognise this road this is where we go on the way down to Laguna Performance um, I apologise for the lack of test rides recently, I've just done none since the Panigale, only one this year and it's just, I've not really had the time and the like inclination to do one because they are, they're quite stressful really um, I know you think, you know, how can it be to ride a bike around for a couple of hours but what you may not know, you that haven't done test rides, when I take out that bike I have to put a thousand pound down um, and if I'm involved in an accident, even if it is 100% not my fault, I have to pay that initial £1,000 excess and then work on claiming it back once all the insurance goes through. And I don't really have a grand just to throw away really at the moment. Um, with the whole move and everything, moving house is expensive. Sure, we're only going from rented to rented, but all the fees and it's just, you know, paying rent up front and all that shit. I've not really got the money to be throwing away and weirdly I know this is um, a hard thing for me to acknowledge how I previously felt but you know a few months ago I don't think I would have minded crashing a motorbike and as weird as that sounds obviously the pain the agony all the hassle with insurance and all that shit it wasn't as much as a big deal a few months ago because well you know a few weeks sick leave or months maybe who knows and then I'll be back at the old shitty job and 
it wouldn't have made much difference to my life as long as you know obviously nothing fell off but um now with the new job and everything i really don't want to put that in jeopardy i don't want to be ill next week you know i've got shit to do I've got a new life to begin a new career so um yeah i don't want to be crashing any bikes and i don't know people out there that haven't ridden many bikes but the first time you jump on a super sport it's like what the fuck it's the weirdest experience in the world the handles are in a different place the feet pegs in a different place you can't look left and right you can't see where you're going in front of you because your face is just pointing straight down it's um it's quite it's quite a stressful and challenging experience obviously the more you do it the better you get but just can't be dealing with that shit i don't want to be go crashing any panigales or diavels or anything at the moment so sorry for the lack of test rides although obviously my core subscribers you guys that watch all this waffly shit on a monday you don't really care about the test rides as much but fucking hell if you could see my analytics my views are just like wow plummeting down where well, i'm not doing any regular test rides but fuck it who cares i just do this for the fun of it i don't need to be making mega views i'm happy with my couple of hundred every monday morning vlog Anyway, this is Singleton. Just rode up Singleton Hill. And this is the estate I'll be moving into. And I mean, I'm not just coming up here to show you. This is the first time I've been up here on the bike. So I just wanted to get a feel for the flow of traffic. Obviously, as you can see, there's cars parked everywhere. Manhole covers. I have to dodge them if it's wet. Um, well, it's quite fun, though, just kind of slaling them around. It's like doing your CBT again, going around cones. All this low speed wiggling about. It's quite fun. <laughs> I guess it will get all the neighbours used to my obnoxiously loud exhausts. Uh, should we go left? I don't even know. We're going to get lost, ladies and gents. I've been up here like once in a car, but Emma was driving. I don't really pay attention when I'm a passenger. It's quite nice. I quite enjoy being a passenger in a car because I just look left and right. I don't know if you notice that. If you've regularly driven somewhere all the time as the main driver, obviously you have to look at the road. And then the first time you go as a passenger and you actually like just look left and right, look down all the side roads into all the houses, gardens, all that shit. It's quite, well, I find it exciting anyway. It might not really sound exciting to you guys and girls, but you wait. You wait until it happens. You experience it for the first time, being able to nose, not have to pay attention to where you're going, and then get car sick, obviously. I do suffer from car sickness quite bad. I have to, I can't read or anything, or watch you know, anything on a phone. I do have to pretty much stay where I'm looking bit of a nightmare but what the fuck are we talking about yeah it's a singleton it's not too bad is it most houses have garages the one i've got's got garages you know you're sticking the bikes in keeping them safe yeah it looks quite a nice area a lot nicer than the middle of town where i'm in now like the rent's the same but the house is half the size but then more parking more toilets and you don't have drunk people throwing up on the pavement outside, so. It's got me now bringing the noise to the quiet estate. Oh, I do love these exhausts. I've noticed they pop a bit more when the bike's warmed up. I've been out already 25 minutes, failing to get my knee down. That's pretty much my activity on a sunny day, go out on the bike, go around those same old laps, same old, Oh, slip roads. Look like a tit sticking my knee out, my foot off the ground. But hey ho, practice makes perfect. So yeah, the plans for the upcoming vlogs. I'm thinking I might give you a tour of the house since I'm not going to be living there anymore. It doesn't matter if you know exactly where I used to live. Um, so yeah, I might give you a tour. That'll be one of the videos, which sadly, obviously, I won't be, I won't be riding the motorbike around the house. I'll be on foot but I'll see if I can think of something to keep it interesting. And then I don't know if there will be any sort of vlog with the actual moving, because obviously all these videos are gonna to have to be uploaded before I move, because my computer's gonna be packed up. We'll think of something, don't you worry. Ugh. All right, so my apologies for a boring vlog. Hopefully there'll be lots of new and exciting, fun stories. Once I'm in the new job. Oh, thank you. Ah, cheers. I guess 
we're going to have to go quickly now because this way it's fast. Right, believe it or not, like I'm doing, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing, but I'm going fast. The bike's not that lent over. I've been in the car with Emma going the other way and a motorbike come along here with his fucking knee on the ground. He must have been doing like 150. It's like, oh, it was ridiculous. Gicks are bros, they're mad. Anyway, see ya. But no, this is, this is it. This is the last Monday morning vlog. All right, bye to the face cam. This is the last time we'll be in. You, you a little bit sad, ladies and gents? I am. It's the end of an era. It really is. Seven years of my life. Right, this is really weird.